Hello and welcome. We are going here to migrate a virtual machine from workstation environment to the ESXe environment. I'm working here with workstation 10 and I'm going to move this to an ESXe server version 5.5. So to do that I will demonstrate it based on the Windows 8 x64 virtual machine that I have here on my system under the workstation environment. Um, this system is here and uh, it's a 64-bit version for Windows 8. The proceeding will be applicable to other virtual machines as well. So first of all I must make sure that the virtual machine is stopped. And also another thing, I must pay attention that that virtual machine doesn't have snapshots. Because if it has snapshots, they will also be copied, which will make the thing go longer and also more space consuming. So to move this, we'll use the transfer form of OVF. So if you go to, to the home and you go here to file, you see that we have here grade export to OVF which is an Opal virtual machine format so it's grayed out because from that part of the workstation we can't do it I go and now I select the tab of the virtual machine I want to move I go back to file and you see here that it's dark so I open this and it tells me where do you want to export it okay so I will create here a new folder and I will entitle that folder for example export window 8. I open the folder and I can start the process and you see now that it's starting here to export to window 8 x64 which is the name of my virtual machine this is going to last it can last about I would say half an hour an hour depending on the speed of your machine of the disks you have the space you still have left so we are going to to cut it short here and to take over when it's done we have now finished the exportation from the OSF file from the workstation environment. So we are going to switch to the ESXe environment <clears throat> and from there we are going to here go and deploy a OVF template. For that it's going to look for the file so I locate the, the file which is located for me in the library documents my document virtual machines and there you can see that we have today created that window 8 x64.ovf file so this is the template so I click on it I have the package and I will start to prepare for it so I say next you see that uh, the base package is 21 gigabytes it has actually on disk 42.5 SYN provisioned and SIG provisioned 70 gigs for this virtual machine. So the name of the machine, it would be also Windows 8 x64, which is fine for me. And now I will choose on which uh, data store to put it. I have here a 2 gig disk on which I want to put uh, this uh, VM, so I say next. SIG provision, lazy zeroed, SIG provision, eager zeroed, and SYN provision. I prefer to work with SYN provisioning. And now everything is done, so I can say OK and finish that it prepares everything. So you see that now it's deploying the Windows 8 x64 uh, virtual machine. So it means that actually it's transferring from that local PC, that desktop or laptop to the server actually. Now we see that, that it has arrived to the end. It says completed successfully. 
So we can look at what was done in the vSphere client and you can see here that there is the window 8 virtual machine. Now I'm going to run that machine and to see what happens. Moving to the console. It says please wait. And now I see that uh, window is updating at the same time. So it means that the virtual machine as it was wasn't updated. So it started to update which is really good because it means that it has network connections that the operating system is working absolutely right so it's just perfect here we are we have the window screen we have the login information as I had before so I just need to try to log in Here it goes. I see the tiles, so it means we are in. We have now a fully Windows 8 functional machine that has been transferred from the workstation environment to the ESXE server environment. So with that, we have what we wanted. So we are going to see whether I can switch to the desktop. And here we go. This is it. This was the way to, to do that change. This is the way to go between migrating from a workstation environment to the ECS6E server. So I wish you good time, good chances with your transfers and see you soon. Bye!